incredible. A good time for anybody to talk to me about fatal life care or any situation really is talking to a financial planner now. Um, everybody's got circumstances that are changing all the time, whether it be later life circumstances or preparing for that. Because if there's no preparation um, and parents go into care, the biggest impact that is there now is that the families that they leave behind are the ones that are then impacted financially because there's no um, nothing there to stop the finances to be eaten up by care costs. So if you're really thinking about the future, either as parents yourself, thinking about the possibility of care or thinking about sons and daughters wanting to speak to their parents about it, um, just have an open meeting with myself so we can just chat openly about it, what the consequences are, um, and just make sure that that financial obligation can be met in some way or another. With situations where somebody becomes a power of attorney, what a lot of people don't realise is that a power of attorney actually has a lot of duties to carry out. Um, and the duty is to make sure that um, the person that they're looking after, the donor, they've got their best interests in place. Um, the financial obligations must be met and they must find ways of making sure those financial obligations are met. Accounts must be kept. And all these things that people have not necessarily done before um, certainly with the support of somebody that can understand this better can help them through it in a lot better way. As a power of attorney, um, it's not your financial obligation out of your own funds, it's making sure that you utilise the funds of that person who is requiring the care um, and making sure that their assets are looked after in the best way possible and that isn't just keeping it in a bank account. It is looking at the best way to invest it to make sure it lasts as long as possible to give that person best the best life possible, the best type of care possible.